Good morning, just packed up and we're on our way down to Skelton in, well some say Cleveland, Cleveland. I suppose it is. It does come up as Skelton in But Cleveland. it's basically North Yorkshire. <laughs> so, very, north, very north of Yorkshire. Very north of Yorkshire, yeah. So it's, I think it said it's two hours and seven minutes from here. And uh, we're going to begin it this week and uh, next week is going to be our off-grid tests. But we'll explain more about that later as we get going. This has been fantastic, the most peaceful site ever, without a shadow of a doubt for quietness yeah, it's and been a little bit of wildlife and stuff. Absolutely brilliant. Not the best signal, but it didn't matter. Let's get underway. Bye bye, War of the Worlds. So just a quick update. We're, uh, we've just got onto the A68. We decided we're gonna go what is probably the longer way round, rather than go down through Newcastle and the Tyne Tunnel and have all that hassle and stuff. This works out apparently about half an hour longer, but it should be a nicer, more straightforward, hopefully saving fuel away because a lot of it's on the A1M. So anyway, that was all I wanted to say and I've just brought Lorna onto her not favourite road. I know, it's a scary road. <laughs> we're on the we're, we're on we're on the roller coaster road. <laughs> and then, uh, we haven't been on this bit with the uh, motor home yet so all the blind summits, hidden dips, and uh, sharp bit. What was it? Yeah, sharp, sharp bends, bends, hidden dips, and blind yeah. summits. What more could you want? <laughs> we just went over one, and that, that's a proper turn one stuff again. It don't show it quite like how it no, feels. It doesn't. Oh, it does. You do, even though you know the road is there. Yes. It's for a split second, it's like, no, it's not, it's gone. There's no road. <laughs> <laughs> it is weirdly horrible. <laughs> oh. but once we get on the A69, this will all be over. So thanks, Northumberland. You have certainly been beautiful. Yeah, and we and will be back again, yeah. very, very soon. Yeah. This is the time. Fog on the time is on my no mind. mind. Fog on the ties are mine. I couldn't resist that one really, could we? No, the chance doing the usual crashed out. Yeah, our amazing sleeping dog. Yeah. <laughs> our amazing, fantastic travelling dog. He yeah. is, yeah, God. There's the angel of the north. And the way this works, we've got to take a photo of this meter here mm. and do our reading. And then we're not, we're not even actually plugging in. No, so no, no. so we're going to do that now. Let's do it on video first. Because I can't actually read those numbers. Eight, three, something. And so the experiment begins. So, yeah, we've, uh, we're not hooking up at all. So until we need to for charging up or anything like that so let's before we get going let's put a step down put the 12 volt on and then good boy let's have a look so you can see for this experiment uh we were on a hundred percent at the moment battery's fully charged bmv's done it's uh, not the bmv the uh b2b's done its job now what we're going to do for this first week is we don't need water heater and space heater on and we are going to use our inverter so we'll switch that on as you can see we're now drawing power it will drop down because it's got to throw everything on now and so the plan is to try doing our usual thing with our, with our plugs and our, all our bits that we normally do. Sorry if that was up in here. And then once we're, we're going to run our heating off of gas if we need it, if we need it, if we need it and same with the hot water. 
and then everything else you're going to use the air fryer plugged in with the inverter and all that then on the second week that should go across to gas on its own in a minute boom yeah, um on the second week we're gonna get the eco flows out charge ourselves and all that so we're going to see what what we need how long this will last on this this type of a situation now it probably doesn't make any sense to you guys but it does to us that we want we, what it does to me we want to see if we can if our living thing has to change that much obviously we won't use the microwave because that will just zap it and we're not using the electric heating so we'll see how we go and of course so looking hopefully the sun comes out do its job and uh yeah so that's where we are at the moment and uh there's not much plugged in but the inverter will use a fair bit but you can see it's dropped already from 110 to 66 so there's something gone but we need to go around and make sure everything's turned off turn the pump on and that's us and look on this way so <laughs> and yeah i would say not that's quite the same. that's not bad though yeah. right so we're oh we're yeah we're up at the back so that means the water will run off all right so we're going to get set up baby and uh we'll see you as the experiment progresses <laughs> so i just want to make you around and make sure anything electric is turned off so this is uh, day two, well, day after arriving, as you can see. We've got 70.1 as a battery voltage at the moment, and 240 hours left on the actual batteries at this present moment in time. Obviously, that changes as we go. The whole point of week one, th this test, is to use things as we normally do, Obviously, the fridge is running on gas now, um, and the heating will be on gas. But we, you know, the air fryer and all that we'll be using and stuff. We're charging our phones as usual. Um, I, I was doing some editing last night, which um, that canes the battery quite considerably. But the solar is back up and going now, so there's p power coming in, and it's been on that seventy percent since six o'clock this morning. So it's no bother at all um so yeah all going well but i'll keep you updated anyway we're off to get him a new collar because he's picking up ticks uh and we're also getting him a new lead aren't we because he's broke the other one good old chancer <laughs> so let's go exploring oh well that was a bit mammoth wasn't it <laughs> oh, yeah we got what we wanted in Pesaro, we ended up in Poundland, ended up spending a fortune in Poundland, <laughs> and then we found a shoe zone and ended up buying some proper wellies. welly boots. Yeah, cause cause I couldn't do the dog walks, so we couldn't do long wellies. We've got so. a little half, little shoe like wellies. <laughs> so yeah, we, we, we're going to go now and uh, find a garage for the MOT for this baby. Because it's due in two weeks' time, so we'll see if we can get it done a bit early. Morning. So I thought what I might do is I might explain what this week for us is all about. As you know, for those of you who followed us, we've been using Hookup pretty much for since we got started um, because of winter and all the rest of it. And that's worked out fantastic. I really have enjoyed that. Um, we've not had to worry about anything and we've been hunting around for good prices and all the rest of it. But as the summer comes, we want to check out what our system can do. So for these two weeks, we're doing some tests and we're doing these tests in two parts we're doing a week where we we're living off our inverter and well say a week it depends on how long we last of course we're not hooked up you know we're, we're completely unplugged so we've got our inverter running we've got our tvs running my computer laptops running all that sort of thing so basically 
one week of trying to be as normal as possible. We are being a little bit frugal with the kettle. I'll be honest with you, we, we're kind of using a little gas stove thing because that will eat just kill our battery. And so far, we're on to day, it's Wednesday now, we arrived here Monday lunchtime and we haven't been plugged in since. And at the moment, as things stand, we're on 50%. Uh, of our battery thing so a little bit about our battery situation we've got two lithium 120 amp batteries so 240 in total two small solar panels on the roof we've got a 150 watt panel and we've got a 100 watt panel uh, going into two mppts in there um, that's the way it was done why they didn't put them in series or parallel whatever i don't know i don't know the answer to that one we've got a battery master that is uh controlling the starter battery so when that drops to half an amp lower than what it's set at it automatically feeds off of our uh, leisure batteries so that's our that's our setup um we have got a b2b got a 60 amp b2b in there and we've also got a two uh two kilowatt in uh pure sine wave inverter victron inverter charger we've had it set now since monday on the inverters on so all the plugs working everything's working our hot water's being run off of gas now and our fridge is being run off of gas so the lowest it's gone is today at uh 50 percent since we've been here and we've done nothing differently other than the kettle lately we've been using that when we do use our washing machine we've been using our washing machine off the eco flow so we're going to continue with that because that's not that's our normal way of doing it now because it's just easier and we're going to get the sun with the solar panels out today so um but other than that we've done nothing any differently things that are coming off of the leisure batteries is our cctv system still on our um monitors for that are still on we've got our sound bar for the telly which is being run through the main plugs uh lady a who should not be named in case she starts piping up she's uh she's on as normal that, that one at the back after has been off for about two months so i'm not bothering putting that back on and we've got our wi-fi router running off of uh 12 volt uh, and all the rest of it i'll put some things on screen now show you what's being drawn at the moment but bear in mind this is it's a sunny day it's 8 57 in the morning so the sun's just starting to get up there we're, we're holding on uh 50 percent so we should start charging soon i say they are only little panels i do want at some point to use our 400 watt eco flow panel to try and uh see if i can connect that in with it but i need a bit of help with that i'm not really quite sure what i'd need to do whether i can run two different solar panels into the uh mppt controller that we've got i think it's too small i don't know i need to seek some advice on that um but anyway so that's what we're going to do we're doing for this week then next week we're going to do it slightly different we're going to use use the eco flows I say flows because we we bought two of them. This is not sponsored. We bought two EcoFlows, um, and we're going to use those to run the air fryer, and we're going to use those to do my laptop, etc. And then things like these two TVs, the twelve volt. We've got the twelve volt Avtex TVs. Now they're permanently on standby, which we all know by now uses eighty percent of the same amount of power as it does when they're on quite basically we're going to be like doing the normal thing and turning up the 12 volt off at the power when we're not here or using them um we'll be a bit more frugal with lights we'll be just a little bit more frugal and see what difference that actually makes like like you know like we'll turn off the cctv and we'll turn off our uh, phone chargers we'll do all that through the eco flow um and things like that we'll probably we might even turn off the sound bar for as an example just just to get an idea of what savings could be made now they might be very minimal i suspect they will be because looking at the draws from these things they're not high the tvs are about 50 watts of power at a time um 
Now, I say we're on 50% at the moment, but that has had a bit of solar yesterday. Not very much because it was a very overcast day. But I know you don't need direct sunlight, but more sunlight's better. So we were getting, uh, I think, between the two panels in wattage terms, I think it was something like 16 watts, something like that yesterday at its peak. Um, but it did, it did, it was charging and it put in 2% back into the battery over the course of the whole day. But I say they're only little panels and one of the panels is not, I don't think, working as well as the other because there's a big discrepancy between 150 and 100 on that. Um, so that's what we're doing. That's the, that's our setup. Um, I'll, I'll just quickly show you where we're at now. It might have gone up since we've been talking. Let's have a quick look. See, at the moment, we would last infinite. Let's put the light on. Yeah, so oh, we got up to 50.8. It was on 50.1. So we are charging. That's how many amp hours we've used since we got here on Monday dinner time. 121 amp hours. Uh, that's the starter battery. And we're using point half an amp at the moment. And that's what our battery voltage is at the moment. I say, and it would last it this as things are at the moment. If it stayed like that, we would uh, we would last indefinitely. But you can see if you have a quick look, look, we've got the 12 volt. Oh, I haven't got the pump on at the moment. I don't know why that was off. Um, but we haven't got any of this on. And our inverter thing is set across to inverter. We've got it set on 16 amps. Our MPPTs are up the top there. I don't know if you can see the blue lights. Uh, but they're only 75.15s because it's such small solar panels. But, uh, yeah. And then we have our, our Wi-Fi is connected in there. So that's running off the 12 volt. We've got our monitor system here. And... I say we've got we're using you know various plugs etc we've got some over here and then this is the only thing that we're doing slightly different at the moment is we're using this for uh, kettles during the day but we're using our air fryer sorry it's a bit dark up here we have been out and uh, had a little explore around Saltburn by Sea yesterday, which was pretty, it was a bit of a crap day, but it was quite a nice, very, very popular with surfers. My God, loads of them. Um, yeah, so we'll be going back down to there for a bit of fish and chips for the coronation. King Charles, there you go, sir. Keeping it British. Yeah, very popular with van lifers, Saltburn by Sea. Nice car park down there where you, you can go in and you can stay overnight, so... Um, there was loads of vans in there yesterday. So we, this week we're going to be doing that. We got we're sorting out all our clothes. I don't know if you'd noticed, but I've got me I've got my legs out, which is a bad sign. So I have heard all the comments about my legs looking like an upturned golf bag and all the rest of it. So I've got very skinny legs, really skinny legs. Yeah, we're going to be doing. Sorry, so we're going to be doing lots of different little jobs this week. Sorting out winter clothes away, um, summer clothes out. <coughs> the garage is having, yet again, another clear out because there's some barbecue stuff and all that that we need to get to. Um, different things like that. We bought ourselves some welly boots yesterday. I know that's not very summer, but we actually bought some proper wellies, like full-length ones, because uh, the grass is very long on this dog walk down here. So... Yeah, so it would be less of a sightseeing video these next couple of videos. They'll all be about, in places, they'll all be about this solar system. So if you like this sort of thing, uh, please stay tuned over the next couple of videos and uh, you might get an idea of how much more in-depth they are. Well, we had a couple of bits that really needed a good clean because they're carpets and we thought, well, why not use a bit of human engineering? <laughs> Steve's next application for a job will be at a great press. <laughs> <laughs> nice clean carpets and nice clean feet too. <laughs> cool. Just want to show you we've gone uh, completely self-sufficient today. <laughs> it's not about washing, although we are doing the washing. But we've got the solar panels out. 
and they're linked up obviously to the eco flow but what we've done is we've put a 12 volt in and we're running a, a water pump <laughs> out of this to fill the washing machine up and uh yeah and to do our hand washing in our big barrel over there or feet washing as i just done my feet in it but yeah <laughs> But we, this is not part of our test because we normally have been doing uh, the washing on the eco flow anyway. So, but yeah, but that's charged itself back up fully now from the sun over there. So yeah, oh, I'm quite enjoying doing this little test. I don't know where we're at with the uh, solar indoors. Let's go have a quick look. Excuse the mess. Not that it isn't always a mess, but. <laughs> Where are we at now? Let's have a look. So we've got 3.3 amps going in. That's starter battery back up to 13.7. And percentage wise, we've gone up 2.7 since this morning. So, and the sun's not at its highest yet. So that's gonna leave it on percentage. What do you reckon? Our little setup working. Oh, yeah. So it now it now means that we could do this wherever without electric completely. And we're not using the actual washing machine at the moment. Yeah. We've soaked that lot overnight. Yep. I did just hear a beep, so that might have turned off. No. Nope. Poor old Chancer baby here. Keeps getting loads of ticks. We just pulled two off of him just a second ago. And uh he had one inside his ear of all places, poor little sod, and he don't like it. But Lorna picked up this uh, tick removal tool. And uh, it's this here. Itchy and scratchy. And uh, yeah, it was only, uh, I think it was a fiver in Pets at Home. Brilliant, wasn't it? That tick removal tool works a treat. Yeah, you've got to be very gentle, you don't just break the body off. Yeah. But it works good for, uh, for what was it, four quid, five quid? I can't remember, something like that, isn't it? Uh, Richard Briars, eat your eye out. <laughs> this is the good life. <laughs> Techno. Oh, that was a, that was a knackering day. <laughs> so, good news is, we've had pretty good sunshine all day, and the batteries are back to 100%. Yeah. So... We can start all over again, really. Uh, but we've also sorted out all our summer clothes, put the winter ones away. We've done the vacuum all... packed them with a hand pump, which was actually easier than using the Hoover. Yeah, it was good. Hoover. Yeah, that was really good. <laughs> and we've sorted out all the garage again. <laughs> again yeah. But we are both knackered now, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, very. So we're going to have settle down and have a nice old quiche and a potato salad. Chill out, cause yeah, that was quite some quite a long day, that wasn't it? Mm. Of umping stuff around and everything. So yeah, so we're really pleased with the way this solar thing's going, cause I say at the moment, even if we didn't get any more solar, we could last till Saturday. I'm good, yeah. So yeah, really good. And the eco flow and got that out. And yeah, we used the eco flow for. We did a bit of washing and stuff. And uh, we also, what else did we charge with it? Nothing. Nothing, you've got the... In, in oh, no, we ran the pump. We ran the water pump off of the eco flow out there so just to see for when uh, we want to do a different setup. Like. And you've got some individual little panels that... Yeah, I found a little... The window that just charges your phones and things. I found that. I built myself a little charging station about two years ago, didn't I? And... Uh, that wasn't being used, so we've been charging up power banks in the window. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so all going really good, guys. Yeah. I even got my legs out. <laughs> Get me up to a golf bag. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know somebody once said to me, you've got two bits of string hanging out of your shorts, oh. and I fell for it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I fell for it. Typical. Yeah, so we're gonna go and have something to eat and some salad. And cool cow, I think. And go to sleep. Oh, we've been watching a really good programme on the telly on Netflix called The English, English Game. Game. 
It's only a ten part series, all about football and how it started and uh it's not really the about the football, stuff, but it's about the FA Cup and uh, the cheating that used to go on and how the working class teams came into it and, and all the rest of it. It's really, really like really good. Yeah. And it's a period drama, but it's it's really got loads of intrigue and stuff in it. It's really mm. good. So uh, that's a, a recommendation from us. If you're looking for something good to watch Can on watch. Netflix, the English game. Anyway, see you in the morning. <laughs> okay, here we are. We are in North Yorkshire, Skelton in Cleveland, near the sea. And I'm exploring our daily dog walk for this next couple of weeks. Charles is exploring too. So it's kind of down a track under a little bridge. This is just off the campsite. Two through two gates and down this track apparently. Where it goes, who knows? Catch you later.